We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Houston Astros. So coming to the plate, Brandon Lau, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The second baseman, number eight. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Outside for a ball, one and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. The one two. Misses ball two. And prior to the two two, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And the pitch. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. Fielded cleanly, and that's the first down. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. That evens it up 1 and 1. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Now Tuve fields it cleanly and that's the second out. For the plate now for the Rays is the DH Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz. First pitch coming, here it is. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. George Springer, the next to hit. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Make half of the first. The center fielder, Joel. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. That smokes, but right into the shift. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Runner at first following the second. error. And that'll the give way baseman. to the veteran second Jose. baseman, Jose Altuve. Altuve. First delivery to him on the way. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Springer on at first, nobody out. Nope. And that one cut a little too much, a ball and a strike. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. That one catches the edge of the zone, called a strike. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back to back cutters like that. We are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. And now before the one two time is called at home play. A runner at first with no outs here. Ball two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there really battles doesn't take any pitches off he's a grinder always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher down the third baseline 
But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he fouls this one off. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Digging in, Jordan Alvarez. The designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Here's the first pitch to him. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. On the ground to second base, this could be two. The second for one, relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Up next for the Rays, Austin Meadows. Leading off for Tampa Bay, the left fielder, Austin. Infield shifted Bay. well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Pops this one up. Here comes Brantley, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That is fifth. The right fielder, Hunter. At the plate now, Hunter Renfro. And it's fouled away. Owen oh one, here it comes. Got him reaching there, strike two. Ready with the 0 2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Coming to the plate now, That's Nate Lowe. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Low. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No balls in one strike. No score here as we play inning number two. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. Brantley going back. Adios, pelota. Batting seven. Here now is Mike Zanino. Mike Zanino. Fouled off. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Batting eight. Joey Wendell digs in now. He'll work Joey. on keeping this top of the second alive. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And that changeup makes him jump. A swing and a miss. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Coming in is Tucker, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Batting nine, the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Into the box, Willie Adamas. Left center, base hit. Now batting, number eight. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. To the plate now, Brandon Lau. 
And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up foul, still 0 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this one's in the dirt. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3 2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. He hits it high, he hits it deep. It is out of here. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Up next for Tampa Bay. The, As the first pitch to him is off Kevin. the plate for a ball Kiermaier. one and zero. Oh. Zero oh for one for him here in this one. Fouled away. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Grounded to the right. Altuve showing off his range. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Alex Bregman. Go. And they'll need Astros. him to get something going here. Third base Lots of baseball Alex. left in this one as we're still Bregman. early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Bouncer to the left side. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So the that's bases good. are empty with one man no gone. Fielder. And that brings in Michael. the left-handed hitting outfielder, Brantley. Michael Brantley. Right side. Reined in. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Batting Here's pitch. Carlos Correa now. Not your Try stop. to make something happen Carlos. with two gone in the bottom of the second. Correa. In there, no balls and a strike. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. This one's down to third. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Top of the third set to get underway, and digging in is the veteran DH, Nelson Cruz. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. And the third inning begins with a changeup that misses. It's a ball and no strikes. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. When you're coming off an inning that you really labored through, it makes all the difference mentally. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. The one gone. Off the meadow. And now it appears the outfield will shift and assume a more straight up alignment. First pitch of the at bat. Austin Meadows is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Here's the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. On the move is Springer. 
He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning. And that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. The pitch. Popped him up. Guriel in foul ground. And that ends the inning. At the plate, Kyle Tucker and his guys have quite a hill to climb. Down five zip here in the early the right going. Bunt attempt, but that'll bounce foul. Tucker. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. Is at the knees and called strike three. Digging in now, Yuli Gurriel. The first Ready with the pitch. first pitch. Here it Yuliachi. comes. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. And now before the 0-1 pitch, a quick stoppage as he steps out. One out, nobody on. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone. But he got away with it. Guriel behind a ball and two strikes. Well, that's a pitch right there. You gotta just lay off. There's a good chance he's gonna throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. So that bases is are empty here with the two catcher. gone. And up next, Martin. the former Angel Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. Maldonado little dribbler up the third baseline. 0 1 here's the pitch. Ball one taken just off the inside. Nope. And this is low ball two two and one. Starts to go around here but it doesn't matter this is strike two anyway. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the, the order. Better fielder, number four. Back to the top of the order now, Joel. and that brings in George Springer. Springer. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded weakly toward third. Scooped up. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Nate Lowe as we begin the top of the fourth. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. Ball one to start the at bat. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. One now out here in the Tampa catch. Bay fourth, and right. that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off-speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. 0-2, here it comes. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. That's a great job of holding up right there. You have two strikes on you. You're trying to protect the plate. It's difficult to not get super aggressive at the plate. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning Up number four. Bay, the third baseman. First pitch Joey on its way. Randall. Skied in the air to straightaway left. After it is Brantley. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning.
Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding Where in the go? speedy Where second baseman, throw? Jose Altuve. The second baseman. First offering Jose. on its way. Altuve. Oh, can't spot the cutter any better than that. Nothing in two now. Yeah, a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Here's the pitch. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. One out. Now riding forward now is the DH. Jordan Alvarez. Yorda. Ready to deliver. Alvarez. Here's the first pitch. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's one and oh. Swung on and missed. One and one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he is out on the tag. So bases base are empty here with two, two gone. And that will bring up the LSU product, Alex right Bregman. And now a swing and a miss. And that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. in front of that one but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. Digging in to try it again Willie Adamas he'll start off the fifth in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Line toward the gap in left center. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first out. The Number eight. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Brandon Lau. He went deep to the tune of a three-run job his last time up. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. And that misses ball one. And it's fouled away. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. Five runs, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Line drive to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Here's Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Breaking balls in there that time. One and one. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Adamez has it, and there's one gone. So the base no is batter. empty here number with one, one away. Good and the stop. former number one Carlos. overall pick in American Correa. League Rookie of the Year, Carlos Correa, bats next. Line to the right side. And he'll make the catch on the run as he reaches down to Spirit for the now second batter, out. Right fielder. So Kyle. stepping in, Kyle Tucker comes Tucker. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 
Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking his zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Ball taken there. Two and one now. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And prior to the two two, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first the out bat. of the inning. The left fielder. In now, Austin, Austin Meadows. He's Meadows. one for two in this one. And he throws the fastball oh, by him here, 0-1. Oh, hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Oh, and he botches it. Poor base running there. Got him caught in a hot box between first and second. And they'll tag him out in the rundown. Now batting. Right fielder. Hunter Renfro. At the plate, Hunter Renfro. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Tucker waits on it. That retires the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman. The first baseman, Yulieski. Now here's the pitch. Yuri Hell. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And he watches one miss outside. 2 0 oh now. Now the pitch. Nope. 3 0. Oh. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit hard down the line. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. The batter, the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Standing in now, Martin Maldonado. A bouncer to the left side. And there's one down now. Here's George Springer. A hit and two tries for Number him so four. far. George Springer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Oh 
hot shot to third. And there are two away now. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. The runner in scoring position with second base. Jose. He set and the pitch. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. He takes the change up the other way out toward right center. Renfro will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway. And here Dolphins. comes the first baseman, the first Nate Lowe. Number 35. The pitch. Nate Lowe. Popped him up. Maldonado has a play. One away. Up Ready now, Mike Sunino. 0 the for catcher. 2 for him to this Mike. point. Sunino. Starts him out with the knuckle curve and he swings through it for strike one. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Up next for Tampa Bay. Into the box now, the Joey base. Wendell. It was Joey. a flyout for him in his Wendell. last trip. That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Line towards center field. Springer will get there and he puts Ladies it away to retire the side. Traditional seventh inning stretch. Riding in for Houston, Jordan Alvarez. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Alvarez. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. One and one the count now. The pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Gone into the upper deck. And that'll Third bring up the former two. first rounder, Alex, Alex. Bregman. As he Bregman. takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Counts even 1 and 1 to Alex Bregman. One run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. The left fielder. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. Pulled toward right center field. Kiermaier will range to his left and put it away. Two down. The Riding in Number once one. again, Carlos Correa. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout can get in your head for a little while. A dive and he knocks it down. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all-around play and the inning is over. Ready to begin the eighth and up next will be Leading Willie Adamas. The, the shortstop. Willie Adamas. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Tucker waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Brandon Lau. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Ladies and gentlemen, 
So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. What? Taylor. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Here's the 0 1 pitch. 0 1. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. Aye. And he comes back with a fastball. 1 and 2 now. Yep, 1 and 2. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin Kiermeyer. He could really use a knock here. 0 for three in the game so far. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. And this will be fouled away. The next 0 2. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. drive and that's a base hit into center field so good work on a one and two count to get on base now that designated hitter Nelson Cruz here's Nelson Cruz now grounder down the line at third uh, this gets foul it's 0 and 1 from the belt kicks and deals Kiermeyer's running base hit line drive into the corner Kiermeyer blows through the stop sign headed for home and he is out at the plate on a strong throw as the runner tried to score all the way from first Leading up for the Astros, the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Into the box now, Kyle Tucker. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. And a strike to even the count. One and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Two balls and two strikes now. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Fouled away. Another 2 2 offering. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now batting. First base. Now batting, Yuli Guriel. He doubled his last time Marie through. Bell. Diego Castillo answers the call now looking to get this one on to the ninth inning without any trouble ready with the first pitch here it comes now started to go down after it and he couldn't hold back it's strike one bases are empty one man out Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. 
So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Now a swing and a ground ball reined in. Throw in time at first for route number two. So two gone now in the Houston eight. And up next, the Martin. former Angel Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. Josh Reddick will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. He pulls this one into right. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Reading Austin Meadows. He's two for Select three and looking for more Austin. here. Meadows. step off he comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch here comes the 0 1 This is on the ground over to first. Guriel picks it up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Striding in, Hunter Renfro. He flew out in his last at bat. Renfro. Josh James enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number 39. First delivery to him on the way. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. One out, nobody on. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Now at the plate, Nate Lowe. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Count one and over. Two out, nobody on. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. This is drilled, but right into the shift. There is Altuve onto the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. Nick Anderson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Striding in to start the ninth, George Springer. And they'll need him to get something going here. Down by a bunch here. And what makes it even more difficult, they're facing the closer. Not going to be an easy task trying to tie this one or go ahead here at home. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. The batter. Stepping the in, base Jose base. Altuve. Okay. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. A little early, and now it's even at 2 and 2. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. 
He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. And he needs to make something Jordan. happen. They're down to their final out here Alvarez. in the night. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. He pulls this one into right. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over.